Hey everybody, it is Efren, part of your Real Pastors. We are back for another Monster Movie Monday. And now we are leading up until the epic battle of Godzilla versus Kong. So we get to discuss about that this entire time. And uh, yes, we do have Gary. Gary is here with us. Hey, Hello, what an sir. honor to be on Monster Monday. Yes. So, so honored. <laughs> yes, he. Uh, hopefully he's been watching our other you know, historical discussions and things like that. Um, that very we've had. That we've, what's that? Very educational. We tried. We tried our very best, and I'm glad to have Gary to be a part of this because I feel like with the new movie coming out, we need Gary to further talk about this at this point. Yes, he may not have the history that myself or Eric mm -hmm. have had with these characters, but we need him because Gary is a movie lover and he is in this world right now of I'm movies glad. and in this monster verse. So we needed him for this week. Well, glad to be here. Here, I'm here yes. to learn. Excellent. And then, of course, as we've been having uh, Sir Eric English, he is with us here as well. Welcome back, good sir. Oh, thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, you guys aren't tired of me yet. <laughs> no, no, it's good to have. It's good to have company. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. And of course, we got to have Eric back because he's he's got to finish this thing strong. And uh, as we continue to discuss it, and then uh, you know, hopefully after the movie, maybe the three of us can do a review of what we see and things like that. So, oh, yeah. but we'll see. So excited to dig into it today and um, with our Monster Movie Monday and probably just a quick review of our MonsterVerse that we've had. Um, pre we're pretty much going to be discussing just this legendary MonsterVerse that started with Godzilla in 2014. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yep. 2014. Starting with that one, then Kong Skull Island, King of the Monsters, and then now leading into Godzilla versus Kong. So we're just sticking with that. We're not going to be pulling too much from other history. If you want that, go watch our other videos on Godzilla and Kong for all those good things. Um, but this is what we're going to stick with. Uh, all of us have seen all of these movies. Like, we're all caught up, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm about an hour into King of the Monsters. Oh, okay. uh, I'm so sorry. I have tried to get it done by the time today, but long story. <laughs> no, dude, it's all good. <laughs> feel, feel free to spoil anything. It's my fault that I haven't caught, finished it yet. So feel free to. Yeah. What uh, was the last thing on an hour in? Yeah. Have you, have you seen him battle Ghidorah yet? Is that right? The three headed thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's Ghidorah. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so you saw the first battle at. Yes. In, in the yeah. Okay, good. We can work with that. We can I was going yeah, yeah, yeah. to like, I was gonna try to play along like I seen the whole movie, but I got to be honest. I, I haven't. <laughs> I got up this morning. I was I started last night. And it got this morning, and then the kids woke up, and they're like, "What you watching?" And I was just like, "Yeah, let me just turn it off now." <laughs> then I had company, so yeah, uh, well, understandable. But I will, well, least, I will finish it before. Yeah, so. good. Well, at least at least you saw him with one battle with Ghidorah, which is a big yeah. deal. So that'll. Yeah, I, you know. I'm really worried about Coach Taylor. Um, I will say that. <laughs> um, that's, yeah. that's got me some stress, but we'll see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, continue. It does continue to get better and more awesome. Yeah, gotcha. so, don't worry about that. So, um, so just just quick review. Um, in the first original Godzilla, uh, we have these Mutos that come about. You know, there's that big, you know, uh, Brian Cranston's character. He's working at that mm -hmm. plant. Things go awry, and then they don't know what's going on. There's this huge egg with Muto comes out of, and then pretty much these Mutos are like going around trying to build their nest and stuff. And then Godzilla comes out and is like, uh, there would be none of that kind of procreation on my watch. Mm -hmm. So, and then battles ensue and we see a bunch of humans pretty much do nothing. So it's kind of annoying, but <laughs> as far as Godzilla goes, he did a lot. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and I remember Gary, you said, uh, you didn't know what was going on cause you couldn't see anything. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know what was going on. So I watched it and I just remember it being very, very dark and I couldn't, mm -hmm. I don't know if it was the TV setting because I was watching it at a relative's house and, uh, and I need to rewatch it. Cause I also, you know, we've talked about before in my mind, I was expecting something else. And then mm -hmm. we got that movie and I remember I maybe didn't like it as much cause I was expecting something else. So I'm, I plan to rewatch it at some point, but yeah. I swear well, Brian I, not being in it as much as I thought he was going to be. Right. He's only, you know, I was disappointed. What was it? The um, you're not wrong about it being dark. It was kind of like a lot yeah. of the scenes were dark and everything like that. It's not as bad as Alien versus Predator, where it's oh, literally yeah. like your eyes yeah. are closed. It's that dark, and you just hear, oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. And it's right. over. 
Um, but yeah, we uh, my girls tried to watch this one with me the other day, and they got like about an hour into it, and they're like, "Where's Godzilla?" I'm like, "He's coming. He's he's right there. Just hang on one more minute." And they're like, "We would rather eat ice cream." Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, but I thought what that movie did do good was just show how powerful and awesome Godzilla is, mm-hmm. and uh, and also I just found this hilarious that after he battled, he needed to take a little nap. Yeah. And then he could yeah. go back and do his thing. No, we so, can all understand that, you know. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we do a little bit of work. It's like, you know, I'm going to take a nap. Well, after this show today, I'm going to eat a sandwich and I'm going to take a nap. So. Ah, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what Sunday afternoons are for. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. it's just – yes, we are recording this. Obviously, it's not live. So, spoiler alert, uh, this was recorded yesterday. Especially Time travelers. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, love you. And then well, – yeah, uh, no, that 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 first one, you know, was just there, like Efren said, the kind of ringing the bell and say, like, this is the direction where we're going. Introduce the giant monsters, uh, the massive organisms of uh, what was it? Massive unidentified uh, organisms. organisms. Yeah, that one. Oh, I know, I forget something. Um, and you know, they just walk in and terrorize everything on accident. And then when the Eiffel Tower fell over on the West Coast, the girls like, oh no, they killed the real thing. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, just showing, you know, again, where Godzilla fits in and the ranking of everything and you know just putting them on top and then you know we'll get to the next one there yeah yeah and then he uh gave true love what they deserved freaking mm-hmm. atomic breath to your mouth ah. the cap <laughs> get true love so <laughs> there it is and then uh and then we had and, and uh, gary i'll let you talk to this one more because i know you said you really like kong skull island yeah and uh honestly the best version of Kong. but go ahead gary let them know mm-hmm. your thoughts on that one and give us a quick review. Okay, so I just saw it a few weeks ago because I'm behind on all this stuff. And uh, long story short, I had a out of nowhere, I was not feeling well. My wife and kids were on were going on a trip. I stayed back home, and uh, thanks to HBO Max, I got to sit and watch Kong Soul Island and had an absolute blast with this movie and uh, really enjoyed it. It got right to the point. Kong was awesome, and uh, John C. Riley was hilarious, and, uh, <laughs> you know. But yeah, really, really, really liked Kong Skull. Kong Skull Island. So. Mm-hmm. It even had a great cast. I mean, they had John Goodman, Samuel Jackson, yeah. uh, <laughs> Captain uh, Marvel, Captain Marvel, Loki. <laughs> yeah. Loki. It, it was legit. Like, because I didn't know all those people were in it. it was it was legit. Like, they're in this. He's in this. She's in this. Holy cow! Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had Nick yeah. Fury. They had Captain Marvel. You know, Loki. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And did you see the end credit scene? Yes. Gary? Yeah, you I did see. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you stood to the end. Well, I've gotten yeah. to the point where I don't care what movie it is. Even if it's a documentary, I'm going to see if there's an end credit scene. Yeah. You know, I'm just, it's just the time we live in. We're going to see, you know, what is it? And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it good. yeah. I do got a question for both of you. Did you get, did the credits spoil the ending for you? Like the end credit scene for you? Because I, I remember when I sat there and then I was, you know, because I'm like you, I just stay to the end now. And I'm watching the end credits and then it says, Godzilla by Toho. Da, da, da. I was like, Godzilla. <gasps> they have an end credit scene. They're going to show it. And then, boom, they show the end credit scene where they're like, there's more. And I'm just like, they're going to do it. They're going to bring oh, yeah. these two together. You know, and I was very excited. But the credits spoiled the end credit scene, which is. See, I'd already known, you know, I had late to the party. I'd already known what the plan was. So I didn't pay attention to that. Um, gotcha. I kind of knew that what they were prepping for. Right. Yeah. I'm in the same boat as Gary and Gary, I think uh, Efren will tell you, he's always like, dude, you gotta watch these movies. And I'm like, okay, I'll get to it when I'm not feeding mailboxes or playing music or doing whatever. <laughs> so it took me forever to get the finished skull Island. Cause we started watching it on a platform and it got like halfway through and it kept buffering. So me and the wife and, I were like, Ugh. and then we watched it like within the last couple months, finally watched the whole thing. But yeah, I already knew the direction. It was just like, Oh, okay. This only makes it better. <laughs> yeah. I will say it's not yet, but even though I, Subscribe to HBO Max. We know how I feel about we feel about physical media, but it. I did deem Kong Skull Island shelf worthy one day. We'll yes. Yeah. Ooh, there you go. I like that. That's how much I like it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, and it was good. It was the best version of Kong I've seen, probably because he stayed on Skull Island. Stuff like we talked about last week, of yeah. just how awful he is and how big he is. So, so we have Godzilla, which took place in present day. Then we mm-hmm. had Kong Skull Island, which took place. I guess the set was the seventies. When was Vietnam? Yeah. Yeah. Was it yeah. So that took place in the 70s. Yeah. Early 70s, I guess. And then, yeah, something like that. And then, uh, Luke Riley's character landed on Skull Island during World War II. And he had yeah. been there a long time. So I guess it was Nom. Around Nom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Around, yeah. It was around Nom that, 
time era. So that's when Kong happened. And then after Kong, you're back to present day with Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And this is where all, you know, all havoc breaks loose. Um, you see that uh, Godzilla comes out. Um, they're trying to, well, they're really trying to figure out, is Godzilla good? Is he bad? Should we just kill them all? Try to find all the kaijus, basically kill them all. And, um, and, then, and, and then, of course, the bad guys in an effort to, it's like save the world because humans are the problem, which, you know, always those, those kinds of things in those stories, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. they release Ghidorah and they release Rodan, they release Mothra. And, you know, so then you have this bad, they leave just all tons of other Kaijus, but, um, yeah. and then Godzilla of course has to take down the other alpha, which is important mm -hmm. leading into this movie. He has to take yeah. down the other alpha, uh, alpha creature, alpha male, the King to become King of the monsters. And of course, everyone, bows down to Godzilla and he's standing on his little mountain, King of the Mountain, just, Arr! you know? Yeah. Okay. Oh. yeah. And everyone else is like, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's my captain. <laughs> yes, that's my captain. And, uh, and then out of that, you see during the end credits stuff that's happening and things are happening on Skull Island and the hollow earth stuff, which you saw in Kong Skull Island. And then now mm -hmm. they just, they're like, these two are destined to meet. And yeah. um, so that's pretty much where we're at. And that's where we're going to focus in when we look into this movie coming up. Any other thoughts, gentlemen, on any of those movies? Love Kong Skull Island, and I love half of uh, King of the Monsters so far. <laughs> when you finish the rest of it, yeah, it'll, it just paints the picture that much more and puts everything just, yeah. you know, it, it's just ready to just collapse. So everything can just, you know, finally just to get hit full stride and, let everybody just <laughs> yeah i will say i was very happy with this monster verse because you can tell you have well i don't know i don't know if they have it but it seems like they have the one person who's saying here's the storyline we're going with you know mm -hmm. kind of marvel-esque but of course i'm glad that they're not rushing all these movies yeah but yeah. i like that these movies continue to it's connect all about, the build. all about the what it's all about the build mm -hmm. you know yeah. that's what that's what will make the actual movie even better because it's not like Hey, we're just going to have Kong versus Godzilla and just enjoy it. It's right. like building to that. It makes yeah. it right. And we touched on that in the prior videos where it's like some of these characters, you know, they just say, movie number one. Okay, movie number two. And just try to mm -hmm. just grab what they can from, you know, doing so well or whatnot. But they, again, they've, uh, what I loved about The King of the Monsters was you got all these different kaiju, but they had time on the screen to kind of develop and tell their story a little bit and then beat each other up and then take a break and then beat each other up some more. And that's, you know, as fans of kaijus and stuff, that's what you want. It's just, you know, things being destroyed and monsters everywhere. And we got that. And yeah. you know, hopefully we continue to get that. Yeah. And are you paying attention, DC? I just want to mm -hmm. point that out. Mm -hmm. Godzilla got his movie. Kong got his movie. <laughs> got his movie. <laughs> Where's Man of Steel 2, Dagnabbit? Sorry. Dang right. I don't know we're not talking about that, but. Story that's not in Sorry. <laughs> we're gonna move on. It's not the video for that. And I'm about to go on. I don't want me going on a tangent. It's not the video for that. Yeah. Uh, we'll, save, we'll save that for Friday. How about that? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it's not that hard, people. It's and not look, hard. And look, Sorry. WB, same company, WB, legendary. <laughs> Whatever. Huh. Okay. So huh. <laughs> that's why there is so much excitement for this movie coming up. Mm -hmm. um, that first trailer dropped, man. Everyone lost their minds. Even people yeah. who haven't watched all the MonsterVerse. Right lost their minds. Yeah, Gary's right. one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it you said when you watched it, Gary? Uh, I said I haven't even finished all these movies yet, and I'm already going to go see it. Like, I'm already. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to go see it now. I was texting people, friends, that were I was like, watch this trailer. Watch it. It's one of the best trailers I've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. you know? Very good. Yes. Mm. Very, very good. So uh, so just initial initial predictions. We're not digging into anything. Who do you think is winning this thing? Godzilla or Kong? What do you think, Gary? All right. I got to go Kong. Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. Uh -oh. oh, you guys went away. My computer went down for a second. Uh -oh. uh, uh, we're I got to go Kong because he's got the, the advantage of, like, regular arms. Uh, <laughs> he's, 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 got the, he's got a little bit of the T-Rex arms. No, I don't know. Uh, this is honestly, I, I don't feel worthy enough to choose, but I know I have to. And I'm yeah. going to go with Kong because I've experienced more with him. And, you know, we've shared a ride together at Universal Studios. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jackson took me on an, an epic journey with him years ago when I was in high school in Kong, Kong School Island. And I was thinking about this this morning. 
Efren, you know, our viewers know, I'm an avid professional wrestling fan. I consider myself a wrestling historian. And I've always followed the guys who weren't the biggest or the strongest, but they were fighters, you know, the Roddy Pipers, the John Moxley's, the CM Punk's, Shawn Michaels. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. kind of how I put Kong in this. Like, he's going against the king. And no disrespect to the king, but I got to go Kong. I got to back him up here because he, he kind of comes from that same, like, you know, I don't want to fight, but I'm not scared to bleed mentality. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm, yeah. I'm back in, I'm back in Kong. I'm team Kong. Yeah. He's a, he's a scrappy guy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 what do you think, Eric? Oh man. I've been, uh, you know, ever since that trailer dropped, you know, just been mulling it over in my head. And, uh, my eldest daughter and I were talking about it actually at lunch just now. And she was like, dad, you know, blah, blah. And we're breaking it down and kind of like, well, you know, we're the DC comparison or whatnot. And I think Efren and I even touched on it. We have, Kong, who's kind of like a uh, Batman and Godzilla who's kind of like Superman and, you know, let yeah. them fight. Um, that sort of, um, you know, the battleground, if you will. Um, but I love what they've done with Kong and like brought him back to life, beefed him up and turned him into, you know, this rage machine, you know, that isn't afraid to fight or whatnot, won't back down. Um, and he survived his uh, initial movie. Uh, <laughs> but I love the character, you know, that they've developed with him. And I, I got a lot to say still about him. But just growing up and seeing who Godzilla is, what he is, and knowing how this King of Monsters has been, you know, portrayed and what we've seen of his abilities and stuff like that, I got to give it to the King of Monsters still um, because he's just, he's the champ. He's got these abilities that Kong does not possess <laughs> that we know of or anything on the equal footing. Uh, we'll get into some of that stuff as far as like I know their strategy or whatnot, but Godzilla right now is uh, he's got my vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> I will I say the I, Superman comparison. He's definitely the Superman to Kong's Batman. Yeah, the Hulk Hogan to Kong's Macho Man. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is. He really yeah. is. And um, before, as I was getting set up for this, uh, my eldest daughter was in here, and, and and granted, all she's ever seen really of Godzilla is. I showed them the other day the classic 60s King Kong versus Godzilla. And mm -hmm. that's all she's really known other than my T-shirts and my obsession with it and my mm -hmm. toys. And uh, but she was but she just said this is her vote. She wanted me to make sure I casted it. She said Godzilla is going to kick King's, King Kong's butt so hard. <laughs> that's what she said. And, that, and that's it. So, uh, so that's there's awesome. that one. But, um, but I'm the same boat. It's just and, and honestly, I think. Because last week we talked a lot about man, like Kong's nothing to sneeze at. Like he is, nah, nah. he's going to be a hassle to deal with. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I also just give it to Godzilla, uh, mainly because if we're sticking to the monster verse, all we have to go off is Skull, uh, uh, Skull Island. You know, mm -hmm. we, all we have is this one movie to go off. Godzilla, we have two movies, which to me is what kind of tips the scale in this. And even yeah. though I have, I have the history, I have the love of Godzilla. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I am trying to. Keep it as balanced. Like I seriously, I mean, I have my guesses what's going to happen in the movie, but I still mm -hmm. think it's going to be him. And um, I mean, but I think it's going to be pretty, pretty balanced. But I, I'm giving it to him. And like, check. I mean, I got this picture. Check this thing out. Oh. I mean, those yeah, are two right. alpha males that are not oh, yeah. backing down from each other. So mm -hmm. whoever wins, I don't think it's going to be a landslide. I think it's going to be an edge by. But I give the edge to Godzilla currently. Yeah. Yeah. They and Gary, the, would you go back and finish on. the other? Oh, sorry, buddy. I said they both got the battle scars going on. They, they, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you go back and finish the other half of King of Monsters, uh, it might tip the scale to Godzilla's favor, but yeah, and we'll leave it at yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's. I mean, that's seriously the biggest thing is Kong's yeah. got one movie, Godzilla has two, so that kind of you know yeah. a little bit more about this Godzilla than you do Kong, so I think that's what makes it hard. But, yeah. yeah, that is true. And again, who and what Godzilla has battled and won <laughs> against you and defeated? Uh, it's just, yeah. Yeah, but Kong has battled Samuel L. Jackson, and, <laughs> and he lived. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, and John Goodman. So there is that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. There is that. That's true. <laughs> so um, before we get into our opening arguments for each character, um, we are gonna share real quick. A map that we found. I don't know how legit this is, but just a it's map. It's a few weeks old. Yeah, just a map of what uh, of what the the nation might feel. Oh and wow! So you see there, <laughs> that's where Godzilla is. That's where Kong lies. And uh, I do I do find funny that like in the midst of all this, like 
these places like Tennessee that in West Virginia that may have a little bit more mountains, they're all like, yeah, Kong. You know, I don't yeah. know if that has something to do with it or not, but you know, but Idaho, that's Montana, right? Idaho, Montana, that's is that yeah. out west right there? Somewhere, so I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but that's kind of what we've again. I guess this is a, a geography according to Twitter data. So there you uh-huh. go. So you know it's official. It comes from Twitter. <laughs> Twitter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot there that say, yeah, Godzilla all the way. So it's, oh, yeah, Twitter data. Twitter data. I can't even say it. Twitter <laughs> data Twitter. and fan hashtags. So there you go. There um, you go. And that's what the nation currently thinks. Uh, I'm sure we see Japan. That'll be all Godzilla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I'll be honest. I thought we would see a lot more Kong on across these states because, you know, the history he has and he's an American icon. Mm-hmm. So I'm actually a little surprised. We don't see more states with that yellowish tint, whatever that is. Mustard? I have no idea what color it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like honey mustard. Yeah. 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 So, well, if Kong represents honey mustard, that might be the reason why he loses. I'm sorry. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. there you go. So, there's that map. Uh, and, and, Gary, the U.S. does not seem to be looking at you in your face. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> We're the underdogs. It's okay. We're coming, you know, we're going against the king. We get it. We get yeah. it. You know, but we're ready. everyone loves a good underdog story. So there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I will say this, those trailers are very Kong heavy. So yeah. I don't know if they're trying to overcompensate or they're actually showing us how this battle's going to go down. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So, cool. yeah. So here we go. A little bit of opening, opening arguments. And uh, so Gary, since you have, mm-hmm. since you have Kong and, of course, like you said, he's a scrappy one going against the king. Let's yeah. hear the reasons why well, the scrappy I mean, one will win, or you think will win. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I think Whoa. he's going to do whatever it takes. He's, he's going to keep fighting to his last breath, and you, you can't hurt him. You can't hurt him. He's going to keep coming, and Godzilla's going to be like, man, you know, he's going to throw his little arms at him, and then and Punk's just going to keep coming at him. You know, he's going to come out nowhere with a steel chair. <laughs> Pinch and sink, you know, he's going to get beat up very badly. But I think at the end of the day, Godzilla is going to step back and be like, what can I do to get I am down? And uh, I think Godzilla is just going to, he's going to die of exhaustion. You know, <laughs> I think it's going to be, you know, and then, and that, that's what it is because Kong's going to keep running. He's just going to be like, I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. So mm-hmm. that's all I got. I mean, he's the king of monsters. I don't know. <laughs> I thought with you saying that, you know what I did think about while you were saying yeah. that? King yeah. Kong is Mick Foley, Mankind, Cactus mm-hmm. Jack. I'm glad you said Dude that because I was thinking Dude that. Love. I feel like I've already run down on my wrestling analogies, so thank you for saying that. <laughs> yeah, you I know, got I, you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. But yeah. 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 Cactus Jack will we'll, – we'll, we'll, neither one's going to walk – they're both going to limp away. We'll say that. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, What's yeah. that? versus Predator. I think it applies to this, too. Whoever wins, we lose. You know? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, I'm excited to, to experience it in IMAX, my first IMAX movie in a very long time. So, Ooh, yeah. yeah, there's no other way to watch this movie other than IMAX. oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I will say, you know, I'm trying to, even though I think it's Godzilla, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more balanced. I'm gonna let you know, I'm gonna let uh, you and and Eric kind of hit more history and stuff. I'm gonna try to be on both sides a little bit. But here's the thing with Kong too. I think we talked a little bit about this last week, Eric. Is mm-hmm. With Kong, his level of intelligence, you know, the fact that he has thumbs, you know, he can, <laughs> yeah, he can, uh, hey, thumbs are a big deal, man. Just ask oh, me. Yeah. It is. Absolutely. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, but he's, his, he's a is little, that, he, is he quicker? Is he quicker than Godzilla? Maybe? Uh, yeah, I would he, probably he, say he's more agile. Yeah, he's more mm-hmm. agile. He can climb on things. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he can, I mean, we saw in, we saw in Skull Island, he can look around. You know, make mm-hmm. those kind of adjustments of his environment, make weapons out of what he sees around mm-hmm. him. Shows mm-hmm. his level of intelligence shows that he can use anything as weapons. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like Kong has got a good chance in this, and there's are there's some of the things that when you look at normal reptiles, even though we see Godzilla smarts, um, like in King of the Monsters, you see how smart he is and how he adjusts. King Kong is still on a different level um, mm-hmm. as far as his intelligence and what he can do, and again, just making weapons and stuff like that. He's so like a master builder. He looks around, he sees all the numbers, yeah. and like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just and just based on like from what we've seen. And then even from what we've seen from the trailer, he grabs the one I don't remember what kind of kaiju. He grabs the one flying kaiju by the tail, swings him mm-hmm. around and the other one. Like he used a kaiju <laughs> as a weapon against another kaiju. Like, all right, yeah. this guy's got some intelligence. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, right. Yeah. So what do you think, Eric? What you got, man? Ah, uh, I, I I probably have way too much. But um, you know, Gary, going into you know, you're thinking about Kong and stuff. Like, I want to see him bring a, a two by four into the match yeah. too. Um, <laughs> but like, I love it because yeah, we're talking about you know, you know, the, the reptiles and the primates mm-hmm. kind of thing. But yeah, Kong has the advantage with the arms. But I loved it in the trailer where Kong hits Godzilla, and Godzilla's like, mm, and he's like, okay, and then he just whap, and then Kong goes ah. <laughs> so it's like both of these guys are just incredibly powerful. Um, and I don't know, uh, Gary, if you'd watched the other videos, we broke down the, like Godzilla's 90,000 tons and this sort of, yeah. you know, craziness. Yeah. Uh, and then I think what, he's got like 60 feet or something like that. Plus on him. I don't remember. I have threw my notes down or something yeah. like that, but, um, you know, it's just tough when, again, like everyone's saying, you're trying not to pull all this Godzilla lore into the thing because as the vessel that he is, he's pretty much indestructible where only like two or three other kaijus were able to ever make him bleed. And yeah. from that, he's just, yeah, that the, the thick skin and all that stuff. But defensively, yeah, it's just almost impossible to, to penetrate him and make him bleed or anything like that. Um, and uh, gosh, where was I going? Uh, I had like three different things I wanted to say, so I'm losing my thoughts. Um, but yeah, so with Kong being so young, this character of him, you know, we know he's, capable of so much so it'll be interesting to see um if he can break those defenses and all that stuff because what oh yeah the getting back to what you're saying about godzilla just being worn out or whatnot his stamina or whatnot he doesn't have like the infinite stamina godzilla in you know again dropping back to his lore uh he can be fatigued and all that stuff where like efren says after a big battle you know he's got to go eat a sandwich and take a nap and all that stuff but he wears out where kong like this version of kong that we see like you said he's just going to keep fighting and fighting until you know he can't anymore so i think that'll play into it too um and when we get into maybe some of the closing remarks uh, as far as like what's going to fuel kong in this fight uh, i think we all probably have a similar thing uh with the trailer or whatnot um with him wanting to be a part of the family and protect that yeah. um but yeah. godzilla man it's just it's always just tough man to say like oh you, you can beat that thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> good luck <laughs> yeah well that's like when i looked in the trailer because mm-hmm. everyone always talks about Godzilla's atomic breath and burning Godzilla and the power of his tail and stuff like that that we've seen yeah. through these movies. But then I, I find it funny how, like, in the trailer, at least with his atomic breath, you know, they showed him with the axe and he was kind of controlling the atomic breath and threw it back in Godzilla's face, um, yeah. you know, seeing what Kong can do, but also seeing trying to show, like, okay, where well, his atomic breath may not be as, uh, as much of a death sentence as most of us might have thought might be right. on Kong if he has yeah. that kind of battle. Um, but it's almost like how many times can Kong defend himself? Will he mm-hmm. use the, the the burning atomic bombness like we saw in King of the Monsters? Will he? Will they, yeah. will they even bring that up um, in this movie? So like, there are some guesses that we have to see. Like, will it happen? Because mm-hmm. even like burning Godzilla, that's something that over time, as he gets kind of hulkish, angrier and yep. angry, that that's when he mm-hmm. tries to use that. When it's like kind of a last resort kind of thing for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and that takes a lot out of him, like we even right. saw in King of the Monsters. Yeah, and if I can add, like you were saying with Kong and Gary, kind of speaking of what you're saying, in uh, Skull Island, it shows like uh, Kong's like just part of uh, just the nature where you know he's he gets hurt and like you mm-hmm. know he's like oh I'm bleeding like it, it shows <laughs> like he can take a hit but like he's still fragile when it comes to yeah. that. But you know even in his own right, you know being the god of the Skull of Island, uh, Skull Island, Skull of Island, Skull Island, like. Dude can take a hit, but like at first, you know, everyone was scared. Like everyone was saying, like you hit that atomic breath, and like, what's gonna happen to him? Is his arm just gonna? <laughs> yeah. Is he just gonna completely have a hole in between him or whatnot? But yeah, we'll we'll have to bring up that axe and what it might be made of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit later. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of where it's at. Obviously, everyone watching this stuff, they can see this isn't this isn't gonna be easy. And of course, no. you know, we're men on this channel, so we make decisions, and we did. <laughs> We decided Godzilla. We decided Kong. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So now this is portion, of course, of let them fight. And <laughs> what I was, what I was kind of looking at in this is just kind of let's just look at the trailer, right? Let's just look mm-hmm. at the trailer, and we see um, we see three different environments. We see this 
weird, almost other dimension environment that Kong is in. And then mm-hmm. he looks like he's maybe in Skull Island fighting those other flying kaiju. Um, we see that when they're on the big aircraft carrier and we see mm-hmm. them in the middle of the city. So based on that, what do you guys think is going to happen? How do you think these battles are going to play out? Who might, because, you know, I'll say this. I think that we're going to see multiple little battles and mm-hmm. then at the end, the war won. So mm-hmm. what do you guys think is going to happen in each battle? Who do you think is going to come on top? Oof. So and we, we can start off probably with the first one with, uh, let's start off with the aircraft carrier because that's the one we yeah. see the most in the yeah. in the trailer. Um, what, what, what do you guys think about that one? I, uh, you know, just getting into it real quick, like you're saying, uh, it's kind of like we're going to get little, you know, glimpses of each character in its environment. I always thought if Godzilla gets him close, gets Kong close to the water, it's lights out because yeah. Godzilla has his ability to go underwater and do whatever. Um, so, and then we see Kong in his environment more with, you know, the rooftops and stuff of that being sort of his jungle gym, if you will, or the island. So we'll get to see those scrimmages, like you said, and eventually maybe towards the end, if we're maybe yeah. theorizing or whatever, bringing up that we'll see those scrimmages play out with one of the other, maybe getting the advantage on their own turf, if you yeah. will, water, and then uh, the city environment. And then where it kind of plays together and they blend where they just kind of, you know, like Superman says, I'm always living life and like I'm in a cardboard box, but yeah. you know, that final battle, maybe there's like, Oh, we're just everything. Right. <laughs> but I see, yeah. Godzilla might having, um, Godzilla might having the favor with, you know, the aircraft carrier fight and then Kong having the advantage, you know, with the higher ground, if you will, <laughs> uh, in the city. Anywhere near water, it is not, it's not good for Kong. I agree. Yeah. Uh, I think anywhere where Kong will have more availability to weapons and rooftops and stuff like that, a city like, you know, where he can just grab things and hit it, you know, he'll mm-hmm. have a, maybe not an advantage, but he'll be, it'll be easier, you know, mm-hmm. and then, you know, with the island and stuff like that, obviously home field advantage. But I guess anywhere is home field advantage for Godzilla. I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of depends. Yeah, but, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think like I think, uh, like we said, like the mini, like the different battles, and then whoever gets the you know uh, on top in the battle will then start pursuing the other one to like you know get payback and stuff like that. So I could just see mm-hmm. kind of a pursuit where they just start battling in different areas. Maybe they start in one location and just keeps going. You know. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. 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 Maybe they start in the, the island, they just keep balance. You know, they're in New York and they just clear out Yankee Stadium and just roll it <laughs> up. And, you know, and, oh, sorry. But uh, one can, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll see. Well, as you see at the end of King of the Monsters, you'll definitely want Yankee Stadium to be gone. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I've, I knew that was coming. Yeah. Uh, that's why I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think I, I like I'm with you guys. I think the ca- aircraft carrier stuff. We'll see Kong, Con, uh, Kong, uh, Godzilla emerge. Kong kind of beat up. Um, if if there is a battle on Skull Island, I'm not sure because because the trailers kind of like, you know, they're taking yeah. them off a lot. So I don't know if that'll happen. But if they're in that weird dimension looking thing, yeah. whatever that thing is, yeah. maybe mm-hmm. it's there. I think Kong comes out on top because that's more. It looks more like it's Skull Island. Um, mm-hmm. So I think he'll have the advantage there. And then I think that, you know, I'm just guessing the cityscape stuff might be towards the end. Um, mm-hmm. And and I think, and I'll say what we have later when our final predictions and stuff. But I think in yeah. that scenario, I think it's going to be well balanced, to be honest with you. Just because, like, in King of the Monsters um, and in the Godzilla, he fought in cities against against a flying Muto, a huge Muto, Ghidorah, mm-hmm. Rodan, like all that kind of stuff. And what we saw that Godzilla was actually smart enough to use the buildings to his advantage you know, he kills one by using his tail, smacking it into the building. He pushes mm-hmm. Dora through a building, has a building come on top of him. So it seems like Godzilla knows how to utilize these buildings. Like, he's not going to climb them or, you know, make weapons out of them like Kong is. So that's where Kong's going to shine a whole lot. Um, right. But he at least knows, giant structure, I'm going to shove you in this and it's going to hurt. You know, mm-hmm. at least Godzilla knows that. So I don't think it'll be as, you know, crazy for him. But I think it will be kind of like we saw in the trailer. Kong might get up on something and try to jump at him, and he's just like atomic breath because, you know, Godzilla's not going to jump or do anything like that. Yeah, um, no. You know, and, and but if they bust out a tail slide, it's over. That's all I'm saying. If we get a Godzilla tail slide, Kong's done. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I might add, you know, certainly, you know, you see like Efren, like you're breaking down Godzilla's fights and stuff. 
both of these the, the scrimmages that we see the kaiju or the monsters or whatever they're learning each other so you know this is the first time that they're uh, sorry we're and like an expert analyst here, but they're learning each other. They're learning how things are going to, you know, go, how he's going to do this, how, you know, they're going to react to this or how they're going to use this. So, you know, like I say, they have the, the slight advantage, you know, like you're saying, as far as, you know, those, those harm, uh, hometown turf kind of things, because yeah, both of these guys are really smart. They've been around for a while. I mean, Godzilla has been around for like forever and, uh, you know, fought a couple different things and, you know, Kong's been around for, you know, hundred something years too. So, you know, he's no slouch. Plus, he's got a yeah. little bit bigger brain is what we're giving him. But mm -hmm. definitely, they'll be taking those times to learn each other. And maybe, you know, those would be like the first two scrimmages. And then maybe it turns into something else towards the end. Where it's like the old school environments where you have like the, the mountains and stuff. And they all stand around each other. And <laughs> yes. Yeah. A whole lot of posturing. And it's like, I got you. I'm taking yeah, it. Like, ah. <laughs> this is where you bring wrestling back in, Gary. I'm <laughs> that. Have an intro song. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> King Kong comes down from the rafters. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, we did we did see that in the trailer. Kong's in that net, you know, being mm -hmm. hauled in from with yeah. the helicopters and stuff. So, like, that's also happening. So, they're obviously moving him around. See, that's the thing. I'm a little confused because it's like they're moving him in this net. They also have him chained down on a – like, why in the – like, to me, it's almost like Kong doesn't want to fight. But yeah, they just, yeah, yeah. Humans just keep throwing him in there. And yeah. he's just like, oh, fine. You know, that's, that's almost what it seems like. Yep. But – um so I'm curious to see how that battle pulls out. Cause I think like what we talked about last week is with Kong, with the protective instincts and paternal instincts and stuff, especially what seems like over this little girl, you mm -hmm. know, is, is that actually going to play a part into this or is he just going to be thrown in situations where he's just going to be like trying to survive and run away? Cause I think yeah. that'll, you know, show a lot of what Kong's going to do. Uh, yeah. But if he had, but if he feels like he has to protect that little girl, it's going to be a fight. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's definitely a protector, and it's, it's, yeah. it's the immovable object versus the unstoppable force, for sure. Mm -hmm. See how it goes. On yeah, and like how the trailers are, maybe it is Efren, like that scenario where they're like, hey, Kong, we need you, and he's like, no, I don't want us. They're like, okay, well, we're <laughs> just going to tranquilize you and then bring you, and he's like, well, I still don't want to, and then he sees the threat you know, that could be for his you know, the, the friend or family there. Yeah. So he's like, all right, I'll throw down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like They take advantage of that protector side of him. Mm -hmm. you know, right. Yeah. 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 Because he does. I mean, it is like we said last week and like we mentioned today, he is the Batman. You know, he, mm -hmm. his parents die. He avenges their parents' death at, by the end of Skull Island. And now he feels like he has to protect, you know, his island or his city. Like he yeah. is very much that that Batman type of character. So it, you know, protection is very, very important. That's what drives him. That's what he wants to do. Like he knows I'm the one who has to protect this island, this people whatever weaker creatures is probably his mm -hmm. mentality um so that that's going to play a big part and with godzilla first of all we don't really know what the heck's going on with him because like we said in the trailer he's hurting people and we don't know why and it's mm -hmm. just like okay what is going on with him like is he is he just ticked off because we try to kill him with two nukes or and he's just <laughs> like forget you humanity you're going down or is there something else going on that's agitating him i don't know we'll, we'll discuss a little, probably a little bit of that too yeah, yeah. I guess before we get to that, uh, Efren, going back to the third scape, <clears throat> might I throw in that might be uh, one of the Hollow Earth scenarios because we know there's like pockets and stuff that uh, I don't think Gary got there. But when you spoiler, when you see yeah, Godzilla's totally lair, um, you know we're introduced into more of the Hollow Earth kind of you know progression or theory. So it could be you know that Kong is brought there and he sees more of like the deeper story, you know, mm -hmm. drawn out on the walls or whatnot. So, you know, the, the bring in the Lion King kind of thing. Remember who you are and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. Just theory, you know, could yeah. be. I mean, I mean, they do show it like he's learning something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that maybe that is where he's at because there are, again, spoilers for Gary. But when they see the Hollow <laughs> Earth, you know, they, they see that ancient civilizations, even of humanity, used to live in there. So, mm -hmm. you know, who knows what all that could bring about. Yeah. You know, and yeah. So that's where... A lot of that's going to happen, and we'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Batman will win. I mean, we know Batman; uh, he defeated Superman. Yeah. It wasn't for the fact eh. that Martha, but you know. <laughs> Why'd you say that name? <laughs> Mothra. <laughs> yes, Mothra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be cool if he showed up in the same armor. But yes. It was up, you know. Yes. Oh, man. A Godzilla Buster. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I will say another thing is going to be interesting is going to be like even though I know we don't go for the humans, but like the mm-hmm. human element, like who do they end up siding with? I think we talked about this last week. It's like even in the trailer, you see there are some humans that are very Team Godzilla. Some humans are Team Kong, obviously, because they're bringing them into it. And it's just like, how is that going to pan out? Are they actually going to like at the end of King of the Monsters? Like, are we going to let them fight? No, this time we're joining the fight. You know, yeah. and it's just like, are they going to pop in and you're going to have humans battling at the same time these two are battling? because they disagree and the, the, this group of humans is like, no, we need Godzilla. This one's like, no, we need to kill him. So we got to be with Kong. Like what's like, I think that's going to have a lot to do with it because of course, as we know, humans, we do a great job of screwing things up. So oh, yeah. we can have a misunderstanding and we're over there making it even worse. You know, it's kind of like when you have two buddies or two people that are fighting and then you have the groups of people just egging them on behind them. Um, mm-hmm. You know, how much of the human element is going to factor into this? What, what are they going to do? Kind of like, with Ghidorah and the Oxygen Destroyer, they try to, well, we're going to go in here and try to kill him with this. And all they did was knock out Godzilla. And then Ghidorah's yeah. like, whatever, grow back ahead, and here we go. You know, So mm-hmm. we'll see what happens. Yeah. Whatever happens, I'm pretty sure it'll be people's fault. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. King Kong, Godzilla, they shake hands, and they walk their way and say, it's humanity's fault. They suck. And yeah, yeah. We're, cool. we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. <laughs> we're gonna go get a pizza. Home. Kong goes back to Skull Island. He has a Thanos moment where he just sits back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I love it. So any, uh, so any, just like final predictions, whether it be the final. Like we already made our predictions of who we think is going to win, but knowing what we know already through trailers and toys. Um, whatever we've seen, you know, whatever else we have may have seen, or maybe just some theories. Well, how do we think this thing is just going to pan out? Like, how do we think the story is going to end? I'll let you go, Gary, because I got probably like a whole nother hour and a half of theories. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't, I mean, we, yeah, I shared what we think will happen, but what I do, what I, I feel very confident, and I hope I don't eat these words for all of our sake, but I think we're going to get a really, really good movie. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I know that's kind of a cop out, but uh, going forward after this movie, I have no idea um, how it ends. We'll see, but I, I do think it is going to be an absolute blast, and I can't wait for until Friday. Mm-hmm. It's been too long since I sat in an IMAX theater. So. Yes, yes, it is much needed. Yeah. Um, gosh, yeah. Where do I even start? Uh, all the all the early screenings and stuff like that, people have said like, "This is awesome! This is the movie like we deserve!" and all this stuff without like any sort of spoilers. I sent Efren, you know, the the stuff I've been reading or you know seeing and all this stuff. So so far, uh, fans have really been enjoying it. So I mean, I'm trying not to be like eh, like, but uh, you know, I guess that'll be for us to uh, also enjoy too. Um, there is Efren and I have been discussing it too. There is more want to the monster verse after this. So there's you know, talk that they're going to continue this. Um, okay. Some, good. a lot of times uh, with how they've been handling Kong, um, it seems like they are going to let him win or maybe whatever in him. Maybe this is what, you know, again, theories, I'm not talking like it's stone or whatnot in stone, but like some of the things like the threads that I want to get to is like, yeah, it seems like they're setting it up for Kong to kind of ultimately take the title belt for a little bit, you know, and yeah. walk down, you know, into the next arena, and maybe you know they have the next battle and all that. But they're they're still going to introduce a few more kaiju and stuff like that. Well, actually, there's like a ton more that they can. I think Godzilla had like 17 bad guys overall, and then, oh, wow. um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so there's still a lot of material that they can grab in onto, and that's what's like tough because they're like one will fall, and it's like, well, what does fall mean? Like just bow to the other guy real quick, <laughs> uh, just in this movie. <laughs> But right now, yeah, it, it would seem like we're talking about in earlier and stuff with the trailers that it's kind of set up for Kong to at least, in this one, take that title belt and run with it for a minute uh, if they're going to go that direction. Um, but I know that's 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 what like my heart is saying. Like we're still going to see Godzilla win and still be you know the king of monsters. But my brain is like, oh well, the way that everything's adding up, it looks like they're going to pass it off again to Kong, and then we see maybe Godzilla kind of come back here and there and reclaim the, th- the, the throne, the title belt. Um, but maybe they allow these two guys to work together because Kong always, he always dies. <laughs> so to see him, see him like this and this, you know, new form and, you know, way more bigger, badder, stronger and all that stuff. 
I'm in love with what they've done with it, so I too want to see him go. But at the same time, like, go further. But at the same time, it's like, dude, it's the king of monsters. Yeah. But again, uh, you know, just discussing these two characters. I don't know, Efren, if you want to bring up the other guy. Uh, but that would be like, okay. But that would be like the direction I, I, I feel like this movie's gonna go. We're gonna get what we deserve in these fights, uh, more development and story to these characters. And again, Kong being this relatively younger version of himself, get to see him, you know, thrive and live more. <laughs> live more um, and all that through this you know, this, this monster verse yeah. <laughs> you know now that I sit here thinking about it I think the <laughs> only logical continuation of this is we find out at the end of this movie I don't want to spoil anything this is set in the same universe as the Fast and the Furious franchise <laughs> <laughs> oh no next, the next movie is Kong and Godzilla versus Vin Diesel and The Rock give me that movie <laughs> And then we go from there. I think that's the only way you can continue. In you space. Know? They're in, in space. In space. <laughs> well, let's not get ridiculous here. Come on. You know. What? No. <laughs> we will get to the Fast and Furious movies. It's already ridiculous. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> you know, Godzilla showing up in a Fast and Furious movie, honestly, is totally in the realm of possibilities now. Exactly. Oh, yeah. It would probably be the least ridiculous thing they've done. So <laughs> yeah, they're, they're driving the cars up and down Godzilla's back, you know, and Kong's like yeah. throwing them. <laughs> yeah. The lore stuff, Efren, just be prepared for later Friday night. I'm going to have to text you. I'm pretty sure there's going to be things you're going to have to explain to me. So just be prepared for that. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully they do pull a lot of stuff, you know, in from that and they do that. Uh, but, yeah, I think – and I think here's the, the big deal because they did – so here's what the director has said, either on Twitter or something. The director said there will be a clear winner. Yeah. Uh, he said it won't end oh. in a stalemate. And so, I, but the thing is, here's the thing: he just says there will be a clear winner, but I don't know who they think no. that winner is. Like, if you're see kids are coming. Welcome to the family. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. But my thing is like, because we know with the trailer and, and recent trailers and toys and stuff, Mecha Godzilla is in this bad boy. Um, oh, so it's, at the right time, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's in this bad boy, and uh, what's up, Carter? And uh, hi, so Me Mecha Godzilla is in this bad boy. How, like, I don't know exactly how they're going to use this. Um, is this going to be the classic storyline when Mecha Godzilla showed up? He had Godzilla's skin, and everyone thought he was the bad guy killing people, and then it's going to be revealed, oh no, it's actually Mecha Godzilla, and then real Godzilla shows up and kicks that God's Mecha, Mecha's butt, and then him and Kong are just like, we going at it? Like, is it going to be that, or is it <laughs> Godzilla and Kong are actually fighting each other? And then they throw in Mecha because they're like, okay, we can't control these guys. Right. Let's just try to take them both out. And do mm -hmm. they have to be like, oh, hey, we're buddies. Let's take this metal thing out. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a lot to that. And I think that there's going to be the setup where – I guess here's my prediction. I guess there's going to be the setup that uh, Mega Godzilla comes in. I think they're both going to fight. Like I think they're going to already have their battle. Mega Godzilla will show up because they release it to try to help or whatever's going on, and then yeah, contain after, it. yeah, to try to contain it. I think that's what I think that's the direction they're going to go, and then they'll both fight it. But then they'll continue their fight, and then this is and this hurts my heart. And I think it you know we're in the same kind of boat. It hurts my heart. But I think what's going to happen is. Um, I think what's going to happen is after the battles with Kong, after the battle with Mecha, Godzilla is going to have nothing left. Yeah. And I think that after Godzilla, uh, and I think that after Godzilla has nothing left, that's when Kong's going to, you know, come in and just take, just take him out and whether knock him out. Like, I don't think, I don't think the director has, you know, for lack of better words, the cojones to kill off Godzilla, <laughs> but I think, yeah. but I, I think he has the courage to say, Godzilla's now knocked out. Kong took advantage of it uh, mm -hmm. because he, cause he's dead. You know, like Gary, I, I don't know if you've been hearing me, Gary, but mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Yeah. So I, I think that's what's going to happen. And I think we'll see Kong standing tall at the end. Um, but I'm hoping I am wrong because I still. <laughs> well, and that's what's tough too, Efren, because I agree with like everything you said. I was going to bring up that same scenario where it's like, okay, they fight. It's really them, and they're fighting, and then Mechagodzilla is brought in by the humans to mess things up, but at the same time, like, contain the fight, um, or that sort of thing. And then, you know, if one thing we do see about Godzilla, and even through, you know, his history, is, yes, his stamina is his weakness, I guess. Yeah. So he could be tanked at the end of the fight, where that would give Kong, you know, the advantage, um, as far as still being able to hit him harder and make Godzilla go, okay, well, I don't want any more 
Uh, <laughs> you know, I saw I was uh, thinking the same thing on that. And then there's a part of me that was like, oh, man, do we get like we just see like the like I was saying with the trailer, like Mechagodzilla comes up at a different time and then they fight it and, you know, they figure out who they are. Or my big thing was like because even my daughter and I were talking about it, she's like, why is Godzilla so angry in the trailer? And blah, blah blah. I was like, we don't know. And like you said, could it be that that Godzilla is, you know, the Mechagodzilla in disguise <laughs> and uh, that axe, which looks like a Godzilla spine, uh, you know, being used. Uh, because like, it's one of the only things that will be able to to block or to def, you know deflect one of his atomic beams. Uh, yeah. Somehow Kong is able to fashion one. Maybe he learns it or whatnot. But my my thing was like maybe that scene that we see, he takes that axe and if it's able to penetrate the skin or whatnot, we see the reveal. We see a reveal of the metallic you know skeleton underneath that. You know that was my one of my things that I wanted to bring in. You know as far as that. But I totally agree as far as like maybe that's yeah. the direction. You know like you said the two fight and then eventually he comes in and then they're like. Oh, and then let's be buddies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, I still think, you know, obviously I still want Godzilla to win, and that's kind of my mm-hmm. prediction there. Just it, to me, it just really depends on how, how the story plays out. Which yeah, version yeah. are we going to see? If it's that second one, yeah. What's that? And what they're doing next, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, and what are their next plans if they have plans after this? But you know, I mean, the, even the hashtag's been going around. Continue yeah. the MonsterVerse or something like that. So like oh, yeah, it's going to. people are already saying like we want this to continue because this looks so great. Um, mm-hmm. I know there were talks of them stopping it because um, King of the Monsters didn't make that much money, but it was in the middle of a summer that had all these other yeah. big movies. Too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It came out with Endgame and Spider Man and all mm-hmm. that stuff. So it's like, uh, come on, of course people had to choose. So yep. But uh, and also not to chase too many rabbits, but keep you know the the path similar. Uh, Gary, I'll send an effort another thing from the director and. They were talking about like the story, and it was almost from the trailer too. It was too Kong heavy, and the, they even said that they had to pull back on some stuff. So that's why, like, I'm really leaning towards that transfer of the title belt real quick, you know, just to kind of keep the story moving, uh, sort of thing. Because they get into some detail, and they're like, "Yeah, you know, it was almost unfair, so we had to take some of these things out." And I don't know if we we're even going to get those like in a deleted or because um, I think I read somewhere we don't get like a director's. Uh, cut or something, yeah. so I'll have to double check that. Well, yeah, well, but. because the director, you know, for all our views and stuff, the director himself said the final cut he has is the cut. It's just exactly. the stuff that he that he left on the cutting room floor was that it was so Godzilla heavy, and he was just like he had to try to make it more evenly matched because mm-hmm. some of the scenes like Godzilla was just kicking Kong's butt everywhere. Oh well, yeah, there's that. Yeah, yeah, sorry. yeah, so he, so, yeah so he had to pull back to make it more balanced, so it isn't so, you know. Just, just so uneven. There we go. Yeah, so <laughs> one-sided. Because the director himself is a huge Godzilla fan, which is mm-hmm. probably why King of the Monsters and this movie will be good because they actually hired Godzilla fans to direct yeah. this. So he had to pull back and make sure he did Kong justice. Yeah. No. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's going to be. It, it is. It's going to be very interesting to see how this thing pans out and where they go with it. And, it and it does i think uh, gary you're right it really does depend on what's their what's their thought process for what's next that's really going to yeah. determine what happens like if they wanted a definitive you know, this is our last movie in the monsterverse they will they'll they'll probably just give it to godzilla because he's already had two movies you know yeah. so they'll probably give it to him but if they have they wanted to continue they want kong to survive um i just don't see how you know, they don't have Kong win and have him survive for further movies. Yeah. Um, you know, may, maybe maybe Kong is going to have that moment like Batman did, where he stood over Superman, not in BVS, but in the animated version. He said, I just wanted you, I'm not going to kill you, but I just wanted you to know I was the only one who could stop you. And yeah. maybe that'll be Kong's like final way of winning. And then Godzilla's just like, all right, you know, well, you know we'll yeah. see. <laughs> Speaking the language now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now we're pulling Gary back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, any uh, any final thoughts, gentlemen, on any of this stuff? I know we already talked about a bunch, but any final thoughts that maybe we didn't discuss or you wanted to bring up real quick? No. No. No, I think I think we uh, got it. I'm just excited to see what they do with these characters. And again, we know Mechagodzilla is going to happen, so excited to see what they do with him and how they bring him into the fold. And if that, like we're talking about, maybe. Uh, 
be the uh, you know the, the the diving board for the next mechanized bad guy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be brought into the fold if they uh, hopefully still continue this monster verse. But yeah, yeah, man, again, it's just cautiously optimistic about what they're able to do here. <laughs> yes, yes, especially since they don't have to stick to anything. They've really been able to create their own universe here with these monsters and really had the free range to tell their own stories. Um, mm -hmm. It's untelling where they can go. They don't have anything they have. They have to be tied to per se, other than a few elements. So, yeah. I mean, I am excited to see where it goes. And again, just honestly doing Kong justice. You know, we talked before mm -hmm. about how Kong always died in his movies and, you know, that was it. But now, you know, they're bringing more lore and just more into Kong's corner. So I, I I'm actually, I am excited about that because I love both these monsters, but I'm yeah. excited what they're doing with Kong. Agreed. I love, I love again that he survived this long, <laughs> yeah. but getting to see this new incarnation of him and just allowing it to just continue to pick up speed, hopefully. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Yeah. So uh, thanks guys for joining us. Subscribe, share. And then I know Gary and I are watching this thing this Friday. Yeah. Um, Eric, hopefully you can watch it this weekend because we will be doing a review. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try. Yeah, he's, he will try. But uh, we'll do a review. Hopefully we can have Eric back on here with us so we can uh, talk about this movie and let you know our thoughts. And uh, We will not spoil it for you because we're not jerks, but yeah. we will do a non-spoiler review uh, non as soon as we can. So we are we are very excited to do it and uh, to watch it. So thank you guys for joining. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Eric. Thank for you. Being here and Glad to be here. Monster Movie Monday. Thanks for having yeah. me. Yep. Yeah. Now, 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 Gary, I'm gonna have to get on Western Wednesday one day. We'll, we'll yeah. find a Western <laughs> that I've seen that we can talk about. Yes, that sounds like a plan. Excellent. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Again, subscribe, share, turn on the bell, hit Thank that you. like button. Please, the YouTube gods, so yes. we can continue uh, just having these these great talks on multiple yeah. things. So we will see you guys soon. See you. See you. <laughs>